Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Hockey, and today we're going to talk about the Montreal Canadiens signing defenseman Ben J. Watt to a three-year $10.5 million contract. The the six foot three, two hundred nineteen pounds. Wow, he's a big guy coming to Canadians for three point five million dollars this season. Ben Chera had five goals and fifteen assists for twenty points in seventy eight games last season. A six plus minus is sixty two penalty minutes, so the Canadians will have to be watchful that he doesn't take too many penalties. Hundred and eleven shots and eighteen thirty seven time on night, so he you can really fill in some Time on ice. I think he'll take a place of Jordy Ben. Um, his career, he had 305 games, 12 goals, 52 assists, 64 points, a plus 16, plus minus. Um, doesn't does he's more of a defensive defenseman. Doesn't score a lot, but people don't score when he's on the ice. And an average time of ice of 16.10. So last season it's given a raise in ice time. See how it goes. Um. He turned down a four-year contract with the Winnipeg Jets, so I think for Mark Bergevin at the time it was he was the besides Jake Gardner that they didn't think they were gonna get. He was that you take him. He was Ben Sherrod was you take him when you get him, otherwise you're not gonna get him. So I think that's why he took him. But if the Canadians resign Yoel or Mian or Terry Lekin and, and they find out they still have they still have. They, whatever they have left, plus three point five million, could have signed Jay Gardner. Well, then, yes, I guess they would feel a little bad about themselves. I don't really understand this signing because I don't really think Ben Chay Rock fits into what the Canadians are trying to do. They wanted a high power offensive defenseman like Jay Gardner, and they haven't got one. When you look at his secondary numbers, the numbers that don't get talked about a lot, he had 139 block shots and 100 that and um had 139 hit 171 hits wow so this guy really he can play physical if the playoffs if the Canadians can make the playoffs I, this this guy can really bring it and I think he'll be good the five gold 15 assists is a career high Here's what Shay Rott said in a video conference, um, uh, on a video conference call. He said, "I like the opportunity in Montreal. It's unfortunate what happened, in, what, the things that couldn't work out in Winnipeg, but the opportunity to play for the Montreal Canadiens and being in a city like that on a team that's fast and upcoming was hard to turn down." So apparently, Ben Shay Rott, he really liked the opportunity. The Canadians, like young up and coming, Ryan Suzuki, Paling, all those guys coming up, getting better, and apparently he didn't want to turn it down. I could also understand because the Winnipeg Jets are kind of in a funk right now with um, Patrick Glane still a restricted free agent, Kyle Connor still a restricted free agent. Um, the Canes could still even get Kyle Connor if it comes down to late in the off season. And he and his value decreases because he's not giving being given a contract. Um, Canines could still get him, um, so he, I think it was for him important to get out of that funk in Winnipeg and go to a more stable team like the Canadians. Speaking about playoffs, Ben Shaw has three assists in 24 career playoff games. Thought I'd add that in. Mark Bergevin said in a statement. Shaylad is a very reliable defenseman and a solid player who will fill a need for our club. He is the type of player who can play some big minutes and be used in, different, in different situations. We are convinced he will improve our defensive group. So Mark Bergevin apparently he really likes this guy, and yeah. Um, he said Shaylad also said he's looking forward to playing in the Bell Center. Bell Center is like um, MTS place. It's very loud. The fans are allowed, it's, and it's high energy. Ben Shavar will probably be wearing a number 8. He wore, he, wore, he wore the number 7 in Winnipeg, but that number is retired to Howie Morans. Um, Shavar said he could see himself fitting at, in a pairing with Jeff Petrie, um, but here's how I stack the defense. 
um, Matt and Weber on the first pairing, Kulak, Brett Kulak and Jeff Pichel on the second pairing, and Ben Sherratt and Noah Juleson on the third pairing. I think Ben Sherratt and Juleson, a veteran working with a young guy, um, a defensive defenseman to cover up for the more offensive Julian if he makes a mistake or something like that. Um, but, I mean, I still think um, if they find out after re after re-signing Lekkonen and Armia that we still could have gotten Jay Gardner, then I think this will will be look like a loss. But the the signing itself, signing Ben Chirot is not a loss, but but the potential of what could have happened, it could be a loss. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. So I think Ben Chirot, solid defenseman, solid player. Good defensive defenseman. Basically, he's going to replace Jordy Ben, who's an unrestricted free agent. Uh, I think good signing by the Canadians. We'll see how it plays out. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of this signing. Tell your friends about the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.